All right, so what is going on, everybody? And today I'm here with a think it's going to be episode 8 of my ultimate rebuilding series here on NBA 2K17. If you guys have missed any of the first seven episodes, um, there's going to be a playlist of the series in the description. If you guys want to see more of the ultimate rebuilding series, I know you guys can going to Let's see if this video can get over a thousand thumbs up. So go smash that like button if you guys want to see more of these. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You guys have been telling me to just continue it. Do not restart it. So as of now, I'm going to be continuing the series. If you guys have not, if you guys do not know what the ultimate rebuilding series, I'll explain it for you guys. So if you guys are new, it's pretty much a huge rebuilding. It's Every three years, I have a cap. If I win a championship in two, I ended there. Uh, so I take a team and the same, same save. I pick a new team every episode and I just rebuild that team. And it's going in the same save. We're on episode eight now and we're in the year 2035. And you guys can watch any of the past episodes of about this, uh, about the series. And I'll pick my team right now. All right, guys. So I'm about to pick my team. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to start spinning it. And I'm going to stop it in five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what team. The Grizzlies. We have not used the Grizzlies yet. So that is a new team. I just got to find uh, the 76ers where I used in the last video. So let's see the Grizzlies. They went 39 and 43. They were the 12th seed in the Western Conference. They have Matt Barnes Jr. You guys know if you've been watching the series, he's been a stud for um, Memphis. You can see he's at a career high of 31 points a game and a career low of 17.4. And besides that, you're the other career low was like 21 so he's been very good but he's on the end of his career so we got to try to get him a chip before he retires i do want to keep him darrell nash he is a 32 year old he was drafted in 2023 with the 10th overall pick and he's been a solid player but um i think we might have had him in phoenix or something like that but i don't plan on keeping him if we're going to keep matt barnes we have a guy named paul nelson who's a 30 overall power or 30 year old 81 overall power forward he is not good at all I'm going to try trading him. He's the number two pick back in 2027, and he's been a bust so far, it looks like. Just hasn't reached his potential. Uh, he's been eight years in the NBA. He's been a bust. Uh, Russ Reed, we know about him. Um, I think I had him, or I, we've seen him before in New York. He was a stud for some time in New York, but he's 33, so he's getting up there in age. Number two overall pick in 2021. Very good player, but... Uh, the, this Grizzlies team has a lot of veterans. We got Dave Hall, who's a solid player. Nothing special, though. He's 33. We got a 34-year-old Bryce Bowen, 36-year-old Junior Shelton. Uh, he hasn't been much in the NBA. 31-year-old Andrews Morrison, Sergi Ostrovsky. I think we had him with the Phoenix team. Um, he's 36. Howard Nelson's 38. And then we have Alvin Kennedy, who's actually 25. So... Yeah, this team is very old, and it's gonna be interesting to what I'm going to, or interesting to see what I'm gonna to have to do with this team. So Miles Turner's just retired. Wiggins, Bender, Thonmaker, Brandon Ingram, Jonathan Isaac, De'Aaron Fox, even Rab, Josh Jackson, Ron Rooks, Jeffrey Davidson, Michael Porter. All right, so let's see which ones head into the Hall of Fame, or who heads in the Hall of Fame. Possibly Michael Porter, maybe a De'Aaron Fox. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. I'm like, why I just said Fox? It's Fox. Uh, no really big coach retires. I saw Monty Williams in there, but let's see who is heading to the Hall of Fame. Michael Porter is Brandon Ingram and even Rab or Ivan Rab. Okay, so those three players all from this same draft class are going to the Hall of Fame together and Miles Turner gets his jersey retired by the Pacers. Uh, we had him for the episode one back all the way seven episodes ago. Episode one where I got the Pacers league meetings. I gotta just make sure everything's projected. Uh, we get headed into the draft lottery. We are projected the number 10th pick. Anything, if like we can move up, that would be insane. But nope, we're at 10. I could make a trade. I actually think I might. Um, was there any juniors in this? Um, Kirk Butler. Okay, so no really amazing juniors. Otis Irving. Uh-huh. I'm just trying to see if there was any juniors. Doesn't really look like it. So, is there any like, top player that I would love to get? Um, Kirk Butler is an 82 overall center. If I could do enough pieces to get up to number one, or even Hal Thorpe is really good. Okay, let's try to get a top three pick now. Um, that center Butler is looks amazing. So if I traded my 10th pick and a future first rounder, and also Darrell Nash, could I move up to number two? Um, you would have to give me a player. That is just fine. Um, okay, what about if I just went to trade finder? And we went to the number two pick by the Sixers. How did the Sixers have the number two pick? They just went. Wait, what? We just had them in the last episode and we went 71 and 11. Wow, they got it from the Hornets. Oh, I set that team up to uh, succeed. Uh, who is the third pick? The Knicks do. Uh, what do they? Nothing? 
Can I move up to four? If I can't move up to four... Uh, the f okay, that's a second round pick. Who's got the fourth pick? The Pelicans do. I would have to trade Russ Reed and Paul Nelson or Darrell Nash and a first rounder for Steve Woolridge. All right, I'm going to do this. We're going to get Steve Woolridge, who's a very good player. I think we had him in the uh, Sacramento save. He's a very good player. He's 34 years old, though. But let's do this. Um, we're also giving up Brooke Woodson, who's two-star trade value, but I will take that. So now let's go to propose trade um, to the Sixers. If I could trade number 10 and 4 for 2, I would do. Um... But let's see what happens. Yeah, pick four and a future. Russ Reed in four. We might want to do that. Just clear up his salary. Sergi Ostrovsky. Let's do this. That's a nice trade. Okay, so now we have moved up to number two. And now I'm going to try to get up to number one. I might as well, right? So who is the number one pick in the draft? It is the Boston Celtics. I will give up that pick. And I will give up every second rounder I own. If you have cap space, you could take Woolridge. They do not, unfortunately. Um, okay, I will just do this Second round pick and you'll throw in a first this game is glitched. This game is broken. They just gave me I don't even know a future first rounder that has nice trade value. I don't even know Um, so before I get in the draft, I want to trade Nelson at least I'm gonna trade Nelson I might trade Woolridge and I'm gonna draft that Butler center guys and I'll see you guys at rookie signings guys okay, So we are signing Kirk Butler here our rookie 83 overall 7-1 from Washington. He's 21 years old He's gonna be something special so, team player options, Junior Shelton, a $5 million option. I think that's actually not bad. He could be a backup center this year. Maybe teach uh, Kirk Butler his ways and how to succeed in the NBA. So, the best for region looks like it's Gene O'Keefe, who looks actually a solid player. He's a power forward. Hmm, he might be on my radar. That's actually an interesting signing. Alvin O'Keefe, wait, is there two O'Keefe's or something? But let's just sign him. And we'll have enough for a max deal, it looks like. Because I did trade Woolridge. Oh, I, I uh, forgot to show you guys. I traded Woolridge and Nelson for two first-round picks there. Wait. Uh, 36 first round top five. Okay, yeah, two first round picks from the Spurs from Ward and two first round picks from the Timberwolves from Paul Nelson. So we just acquired four first round picks, and you guys can see we are loaded in first round picks. Uh, we have a lot. So free agency, Mingu Wong, the number two overall pick back in 2026. I might sign this man. Okay, I'm gonna definitely offer this guy a contract. You guys remember when I showcased him before he was drafted? I'm willing to give him a big contract, but we'll also try to get Okidi here. Is he restricted? No, he is not. Okay, so let's try to get Okidi. I'll take him and Wong. Uh, is there anybody else here? Whiteside Jr. 25 years old and unrestricted. That's actually kind of interesting. And I would move Butler to power forward. I could question that if all else fails. Dwayne Wade. Oh my god. Let's, let's get Dwayne Wade. Let's get Dwayne Wade. Should I just sign Dwayne Wade? Okay, I'm either going to sign Wong or Wade, right? Should I sign even Okidi? I don't know. Oh, I want to clear up more cap. Um, I would have to trade Russ Reed if I wanted to clear up more cap to get two guys. So what could I get for Russ Reed in free or in the trade finder? I'll take two first round picks again if I can get that. But oh my god, we just... Mm, I, I think we can get a decent amount. Greg Pittman, he's really good. We had him in uh, the last video, but he's making too much. I would need a salary dump. Archie Montgomery, no. I would need like... Willis McDaniels, like, right here. This would have to be it. Uh, so, I will go back to the Nuggets trade. I'm going to do that if all else, or if I can't get two first-round picks. Uh, Jack Early, he's a rookie. He was the third overall pick. He was just drafted. Let's take him. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, let's do it. So, we take Jack Early. Um, can I also snag a first-round pick out of them? Probably not. Um, I could also get Scooter Jordan, but let's not bother. Let's just do Russ Reed for Jack Early. So that was nice. Um, so we're gonna have enough for I think two free agents. So I'm gonna see my past day one. Um, my goal, I think I'm gonna try to get Okidi. Um, and one of the both Okidis actually, but one uh, either White, uh, either Wade or Wong. Let's see what another day. Come on. Okay, we get Okidi. That's a big signing. Uh, Keen is mostly going to come off the bench or early. No, early. Who we just signed? Come on, give me. Okay, Wong or Wade? Who am I signing? Wong's an 88, but he's 29. Wade is 27. He's two years younger. Wade just put up 27 points a game, and Wong just put up 18. I think as we have so many scores, we should pick up Wong. Um, he averaged 1.8 steals, 3 point assist, 1 point. Yeah. Uh, he's more of an all-around player, so I don't know if you guys are gonna hate on me for this deal It's a controversial one, but let's do it. We're gonna sign Ming Wong over Dwayne Wade 
so we do that. So I'm just gonna send a couple vets um, to fill up the team, and I'll see you guys at the start of the first season. All right, guys, I'm trying to get a trade for a point guard here. We would also be acquiring Glenn Underwood, who's not actually bad, but we need a point guard. Trevor Trent, he's a 79 overall, 26 years old for on San Antonio. Those are his past stats. Let's see if they accept this trade. I'll be giving up Alvin O'Keefe, Junior Shelton, Stanley Park, who I just signed up uh, because he was a veteran, and a first on pick. They agree to that. Okay, so that is uh, that is nice. That is nice. So this is the lineup. Trevor Trent, uh, Ming Nu Long, Matt Barnes Jr. Uh, we're definitely starting Okidi here, not early. Um, and then Kirk Butler, that is the bench. And hopefully we make the playoffs this year and I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. End of the first season, Michael B. Elliott wins MVP. Did he win it in the last video? Um, yeah, he's won it three times, six, seven. He was drafted in 2030. We watched this guy get drafted. He's a stud. He's a 99 overall. Uh, how Thorpe gets rookie of the year. What? It's not even Kirk Butler. This guy was drafted third overall. He's an 80 overall. Um, he is a solid player. Devin Jennings, sixth man of the year in Washington. Uh, he was drafted number seven four years ago. James Michael Fulkes. Fulkes? I never uh, heard of him, but he wins the defensive player of the year. He's new. Uh, this is only his second year in the league, and he's a beast, it looks like. And Juan Carlos Esparza gets... What award is this most improved? 32 points a game. Hello from Mexico. And Dwayne Casey, coach of the year for the Sixers. Uh, Kobe Bryant, there he is in all NBA first team. Uh, there's Esparza. Uh, Louis Huffman. Haven't seen this guy yet. He's in Denver. He's solid. Uh, Jerry Houston. Yeah, really good player from TCU. Um, six years in the NBA. And then there's Elliott. Second team, there's Allen Iverson. Sheldon Whitehead. Uh, George Allen, LeBron James, there's LeBron, and Benjamin Columbus, arguably the best defensive player, could be of all time soon. This guy's been amazing. On B13, Victor Wright, Mo Madsen, Jeff Stribling. This guy was once a 99. He's regressing, but yeah, he was once the best player in the NBA. I uh, haven't really seen any Grizzlies, but we did really bad this year. Uh, Kurt Bummer did 11 and 8, so he did all right. Um, we go 37 and 45. Did we? We didn't make the playoffs, right? Yeah, we were a 12th seed again. Oh, yuck. Um, yeah, we were really bad. Uh, I don't know how. I thought we were pretty solid. To begin with, uh, Katie drops 15. Wong only dropped 15. Maybe I should have signed Dwayne Wade. Uh, Trent drops 15. Barnes Jr. drops 14.7. He'll be a free agent. Hopefully, he doesn't X for a lot. Uh, Jack Early drops 15. He's up to a 78. Uh, Butler drops 11 and 8. Wow, we didn't make the playoffs. I guess the bench was pretty bad. So, let's just see who wins it all in the first season it is going to be who is it going to be in the finals it is a matchup between the warriors and the sixers and the sixers win all the team we had in the last video and stevie westbrook russell westbrook's son gets finals mvp you guys jose hernandez the guy from nyu in the first like i guess episodes two three and four this guy won so many mvps he is going to the hall of fame his jersey is getting retired by the hawks and johnny baxter the man that almost or pretty much actually won us a championship with the miami save he gets his jersey retired that is good to see um so let's go here eliminated the draft lottery no we want to keep that so let's go to the draft lottery we have the 10th pick odds again most likely actually no we might be up this year yeah we got number seven for boston um, we don't have our pick. Okay, so seven from Boston. And the Pelicans have our pick, and they have projected number 11. Um, we get the seventh pick in the draft. Okay, um, sounds good to me. Let's see if I'm going to be making a trade, though. Ming Nu Wong. I, of course, gave him a no trade clause. Let's see if he'll wave it anywhere. Okay, he might not. Maybe I can find a team that he'll wave it to. But let's see. Uh, is there any studs in the draft? I didn't see if there was any juniors. Richard Wallace, Ben Wallace's son. Um, but there's no juniors. There's Okidi, another Okidi. Bert Okidi. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any juniors as of now. Uh, yep. All right, so I'm going to make a trade. I'll try to trade Ming Yu Wong, see if, what I can do, and I'll see you guys at the draft or if I uh, make a trade, a big trade. Guys, I think I found a, tra a team that will do this trade, and it's a pretty much a fair trade too. Ming Yu Wong for... Uh, What's this guy's name? Vile Steel. This guy is 26. He's been averaging a lot better than um, Wong has been doing. I'm also going to try to snag a future first. Actually, maybe even two future firsts from them. Um, they want Trevor Trent, and they'll give me two gay manses. I will... Uh, do you have a good point guard? We once did. I think we controlled the Wizards for one of these. Yeah, we did. Uh, Devin Jennings. 
he would actually be pretty good. This guy was good. Will they do this trade? They want a first round pick. Okay, let's just do it without all this. Uh, you can keep one of these first. Really? I don't want Clayton Bass. All right, just let's just do these two straight up. Steal for Wong. Are you kidding me? I really have to throw in a first rounder just for Christ's sake. I don't want anybody else making money. Um, This guy, I don't want. Just take the second round pick. Oh my God, I don't want anybody. Just take the other second round pick. Jesus. You know what? Give me Devin Jennings. Fine. Let's just do it. That was so annoying. Um, Did we corrupt any bit in cap? We have 11 mil. Matt Bar Jr. has a player option. He's going to accept that. Damn it. Um, I didn't think of that. All right. Well, let's just... Um, who is there any like studs in the draft that I could trade up for? Um, I would need a point guard. Don Carter, he's a 69 overall. Yeah, so it's not too important. I'll see you guys at Ricky. Wow, this draft class is awful. It's pretty much Stacy Rowan. That's the only good guy there. So that actually Devin Temple's not bad. Richard Wallace isn't bad. All right, so that's gonna be for me now. I'll see you guys at Ricky signings. So we take Ruben Williams. He was like the best player available. 70 overall shooting guard. Not bad. He'll be a nice bench player. Matt Barnes Jr. accepts his contract. Ugh. We're going to have no money to spend. And are you kidding me? If Michael B. Elliott actually makes his way to free agency, I'm I'm trading away Barnes Jr. I'm sorry. I'll sign you again next year. But like, I'm going all in for Elliott. Uh, okay. Nope. And Stripling is there? Okay. Um... We gotta trade Matt Barnes Jr. And they're not and the Warriors aren't even offering him a contract. Okay, uh I think I gotta trade Matt Barnes Jr. And of course no team wants him. Um come on. There's gotta be some team that wants this guy. Um come on, for real, for real. Uh Wesley. Calvin Harmon. They would acquire 23. Oh, I'll try to figure something out, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to try to get a first round picking Clay Wall out of the Hornets for Matt Barnes Jr. Uh, they don't want to do that. I am fine throwing in uh, all these picks. Any top five projected Tim Wolves pick next year. Damn. Okay. Um, You don't have to give me that pick. Just give me a future first. Are you serious? Come on. Fine. Just I'll do Matt Barnes for Clay Wall. Just do it. I need to clear up the cap. They agree to that. So, do I have enough money for Elliot? No. I'd be under the cap of 29 mil? What? We're just barely over the cap now. So, I would have to trade Jennings and one of these guys. Oh, for Elliot. Actually, I'm going to trade Trent and probably Jennings. We're doing this trade with the Magic. We're getting two first round picks that are actually nice value. I'm going to try to get a third. Um, okay, that is reasonable. I will also, I'll, can I ask for this first round pick? Clay Wall, ah, uh, no, I actually want Clay Wall, but they would give me four first round picks. You know what? We can always trade those first round picks, so let's just, mm, I don't want to give up Clay Wall. I will give you, um, this first rounder and a second rounder. Minnesota, for their four, for their four first round picks, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Now let's go to free agency. I know I could sign Elliot. All right, I have enough money to offer him. Max Steele, we're not even his number one offer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I did all that. All right, let's try to get Jeff Stribling. I'm just going to try to get somebody. Um, either it's Stribling or Victor Wright or somebody, and I'll see you guys if somebody accepts it. Elliot and Stribling both accept other offers. Elliot goes to the Nets. Stribling goes back to the Lakers. Can I, I really want this point guard, though. Michael Porter. Uh, that's a different Michael Porter. This Gibbs guy. If I can get this Gibbs guy, I'll be happy. Or Victor Wright. Okay, so Willard Gibbs, I'm going to sign. He averaged 21 points and 9 assists last year. He's really good. Victor Wright is a good player too, but Willard Gibbs is the man I am signing. Is there anybody at Bird Wright's on? No, I'm just going to try to sign a couple veterans. Harry Giles would be a nice signing. And yeah, that'll be for me now. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. Guys, so this is the rotation here for season number two. You got Kirk Butler. He's up to an 86. Jack Early. Um, who's a very nice power forward. Okidi's going to be playing some small forward. We'll see how he does. Lyle Steele and then Willard Gibbs. The team's not bad. The bench is actually pretty good. You have Harry Giles, uh, Clay Wall, a lot of power forwards. Uh, Dennis Spencer, who I signed, Tyson Barkley, and that's about it. So hopefully we make the playoffs this year, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Uh, Michael B. Elliott wins MVP once again. This guy is so good. Uh, rookie of the year goes to Stacey Bro, the guy I said that was the only good person in this draft class. Uh, Ruben Sanders, sixth man of the year. He was We had him before in the Heat. Uh, Falcus, Falcus, he gets the defensive player of the year for the second year in a row. Albert Lowry, most improved, seven-footer out of Washington. 
I feel like I've showed somebody else out of Washington. This guy's a second round pick. That's pretty cool that he's doing that well. Paul Pierce entering the coaching industry. Um, okay. Um, and he gets coached the year. That is actually really cool. Keith Black, uh, even though he's 31, getting back on OMB first team. Mo Madsen, Jerry Houston. Let's see if we actually have any Grizzlies. Um, Victor Wright, who we could have signed. Stevie Westbrook, Holland, Keon Steele, Falcus, uh, Kobe Bryant. There is Wong. Of course, of course, once we trade him away, he gets on all NBA third team. Benjamin Columbus. Is this guy ever going to be a free agent? Um, probably not. Um, they're going to keep him forever. But, guys, we actually won 55 games. We actually got the two seed? Yeah, two seed right behind the Trailblazers who have Isvan Kafka. Um, and Dan Ellis, who they're coming off the bench, which is just dumb. Uh, we were the two seed, which is nice. Um, Gibbs was amazing. 21 points, 9 assists. Steele, 16 points. Uh, wish he kind of averaged a little bit more than that, but it's alright. Uh, Okidi, 14. I'm gonna try to get Matt Barnes Jr. if he's in free agency on a veteran's minimum. Uh, Jack Early, 13. He's very good. I'm glad we got him. Um, Kirk Butler, 11 and 7. Wish he ups, ups like the rebounds. He's an 87 overall, but he was the guy from Washington I was thinking of. And our three power forwards or whatever, all on the bench. So we're taking on the Lakers in the first round, who have Jeff Stripling, obviously. Um, Jeff Stripling, and they have Keon Steele, who's fifth year in the NBA. He's a very good shooting guard. This is going to be an interesting round one that might be a trap series for us. We win game one. Okay, we're up 2 We're up 3 0. Okay, maybe it wasn't. We win at 5 0. We don't even have to face the three seeded Jazz. We're facing the Mavericks. So let's take a look at the Mavericks team. Who do they have? They have. Um, oh my God. I saw the guy shot close and I'm like, he's a 99 overall. But they have Joel Sheridan, who's a solid point guard. He's 5'10, though, so he's really small. Uh, Karen Norris, a power forward. He's a double double machine. Okay. And Dustin Farmer, a nice shooting guard. They got actually a solid team. They have a lot of 80s. Let's see. Can we beat them and go to the Western Conference Finals? Yes, we can. We win in six. And we're taking on the Trailblazers. I showed you that team before. Can we beat Paul Pierce's Trailblazers and go to the finals? No, we lose in five. And it's the Nets versus the Trailblazers. The Nets win it all. And I wonder who is going to be finals MVP. Michael freaking Elliott. All right, guys. So Harry Giles, who we just had, is going into the Hall of Fame. So we got somebody that uh, went into the Hall of Fame. And we're also... The Grizzlies are retiring. Marco Fultz's number. Okay, that's pretty cool. I guess they had him at one point. Have the trade deadline occur one week later. I'm just going to reject that. Uh, draft lottery. We have a bunch of magic picks. Do that land anywhere special? Um, Timberwolves top five. Uh, okay, I guess not. Uh, that was the pick that we gave them, but the Timberwolves are going to keep it anyway because it was top five projected. And they get the fourth pick, so they're going to keep that. We have no first round picks this year. I guess not. Um, did I trade them away? I don't remember, but that's fine. I think we just gonna need to make one or two additions to the bench and I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, they're all in 20, 29, 29, 20, 40. Uh, so we have no picks. So let's just go straight to team player options here. Um, let's get back Butler and early. Definitely both of those guys. Uh, no really good players rejecting their deals or declining. Best one is Dan Wingate. No one's special though. So here we go into free agency. Uh, Clay Wall and Robin Ray. We will give the qualifying offers to my free agents. Uh, they're all testing. Okay, is Matt Barnes Jr. going to be there? Yes, he is. Let's go. Let's sign him. I need Matt Barnes Jr. He'd be a nice bench piece, actually. So, let's give him that. Uh, anybody else here? Ooh, we can try to get both of these guys. Probably not. Can't get both. Um, can I get all these guys on the minimum? Dupin. He's been in the NBA a while. And Dennis Smith. So, I just really want Matt Barnes Jr. I'd rather have him over that 84. Tower Gooden. Wow, actually, if we got him, that would have been cool. He was amazing for us in Phoenix. But he goes to the Magic. Can I get Matt Barnes Jr., please? Please. I just... It would be really cool for me to get him back. Okay, we're his number one offer. There we go. We get Barnes Jr., Clay Wall, um, Dupin, and Terrence Bailey. That's going to be for me now, guys. I'll see you guys at the end of next year. Um, the rotation is going to go as is. It's going to be Gibbs, then Steele, and then small forward is going to be Okidi. Power forward is going to be Early, um, and then center is going to be Butler. So that's going to be for now. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season of this video. So Michael B. Elliott wins MVP for the third straight or fifth straight year in a row. I don't even know anymore. Wenyan Gabriel Jr., Rookie of the Year. Okay, Greg Pittman, Sixth Man of the Year. 
Uh, we know him. Focus, defensive play of the year once again, and West Best Most Improved. John Wall, coach of the year. He's he's our coach since when? Okay, um, that's cool. Uh, but I'm just wanting to get in the playoffs. We went 67 and 15. That one is the uh, conference. Uh, second best record in the NBA behind the Sixers. That team is just amazing uh, that we built. They're just feeding off that. So stats-wise, Gibbs 20 and 9, Steele 16, Keedy 15, Barnes Jr. was trying to get him a championship before he retires. Actually, has he won a championship? No, he is not. Um, so, an 18 Clippers. Do they still have Grant Gager or has he retired? Uh, Grant Gager. He is still there, Grant Gager. He was once, I think, like a 95 overall. He's degressing, or regressing, I should say. Uh, yeah. You can see how good he was back in the day, but 17th year in the NBA, he's nothing. And they have a Holland guy who's solid, but we should beat them with no problem as we sweep them. So we're taking on the Trailblazers. Let's get revenge from last year. They were, they're a five seed now, and we sweep them. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, taking on the Pelicans. They have Juan Carlos Espraza. He's really good. Uh, Go Jorge Erhan. Darrell Nash. Oh, he was on our team in the beginning of the video. Richard Wallace. He's a nice young player. Should be a nice sweep. Nope. We win in seven. We just win. Okay. Taking on the Sixers. We don't have to take on Grand Gager. Are they going to beat us? Or are we going to beat them? Uh, we're up 2 0. 2 1. 2 2. Oh, God. Game seven. Here we go. Is the team we're going to control last video beat us or are we going to win with the Grizzlies? Come on. Come on. Yes, we win by two points and we win the championship in season number three. Gibbs 18 and 11. Let's go. We get Matt Barnes Jr. chip. That is really cool. Glad I got to use him before he retires. So that's going to be for me. A thousand likes for another one of these guys. Let me know in the comments what you think and what the future of this series can be. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. Here's to episode nine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.